up on really big things. Nobody does big like Dubai. It's home to the world's tallest hotel, largest mall, largest man-made port, and they're about to add one more to the list. Say hello to the Burj Dubai. He still has a little over one-third to go. You think you've seen the tallest building in the world? Think again, because no TV show has ever been allowed inside until now. So we're stopping at 134? Yeah, we have to climb up. It's a good thing that I'm not afraid of heights. Located in the United Arab Emirates, Dubai sits on the Persian Gulf and within the Arabian Desert. But because of their booming revenues from their free trade zones, the 240,000 barrels of oil they produce a day, and their thriving tourism, Dubai has rapidly become a hotspot for billionaires, celebrities, and contractors. Look at that! It's like one in every three cars is a bus filled with hard-working men coming home from a long day's work. Now that's because over $90 billion worth of construction is being done right now in the city of Dubai. In fact, temporary workers outnumber permanent residents eight to one. Everywhere you look, construction is popping out of the ground like wildflowers. And they're building unique, one-of-a-kind buildings like I've never seen before. In fact, this is the place where like all the most creative architects come to just pour their ideas and have fun. It's like a playground for the smartest architects in the world. And besides these buildings being one of a kind, they're also really, really big. That building behind me supersedes anything that's going on right now. It's called the Burj Dubai, and it's already twice as big as anything else in the city of Dubai, and it's not even done yet. When that bad boy is done, it's gonna be over a half a mile tall. It's basically like taking two Empire State Buildings and stacking them on top of each other. In fact, it's going to break every height record in all categories for any building or structure. And until now, only workers and contractors have set foot inside the Burj Dubai. In this exclusive look, Really Big Things is going to show you something most people will never see. The view from the top. From here, up there looks a lot farther away. This is going to be awesome. Let's go check this thing out. How are you doing, Hi. sir? Good. How are you? Good. You must be Greg, right? Yep. And you're the project manager of this place? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. So right now, looking at it, how tall is it currently, and how far along have we gotten, and how much more do we have to go? Well, we're, we're going to be more than 700 meters, uh, more than 160 stories. Uh, today, we're about 490 meters, so we still got a long way to go. So you're looking at that thing, and he still has about... A little over one-third to go. That could hopefully give you an idea of how actually tall this thing is going to be when it's finished. Oh my gosh, I can definitely say I have never been this high before in my life. Do you get nervous coming up here? Uh, you come up just about every day, you know, the novelty wears off. <laughs> right? I mean, ooh, we're stopping. Ooh, is that normal? Yeah, it's fine. We're slowing down. We're going to hop out. So we're stopping at 134? Yeah, we're climb, climb up a couple. You gotta climb too? All right, here we go. Let's climb up to the top. So we're on scaffolding right now, right? Yep. To reach the top floor, we have to climb up wooden scaffolding that hangs from the side of the building, which is supported by these poles, this hydraulic lift, and these large bolts that connect the hydraulic machine to the side of the building. But the concrete they're connected to is only a week old. Remember, we're suspended over 130 stories off the ground and literally hanging from the edge of the building. If you're afraid of heights, don't come here. Don't look down, Matt. What? Woo! This is it, baby. 137 stories in the air. Besides workers, I am the only person to be on top of Burj Dubai this high to date. Look at that. Remarkable. The only thing more remarkable than the view is the amount of work going on here. The entire floor is covered with workers. This floor is scheduled to be cemented at nightfall. And watching them work, I couldn't help but wonder how they handle this heat and how they could build such a big building with such small tools. 
When the Burj Dubai is complete, it will have cost over 20 billion U.S. dollars. That's because they're not just building a 175-room Armani hotel, 144 luxury residential suites, 800 apartments, four swimming pools, a ballroom, and the world's highest public observation deck. What I mean is they're not just building the world's largest tower. They're building an entire downtown. That includes the world's largest shopping mall, 30,000 homes, 19 residential towers, and a 30-acre Dubai lake. And of course, at the center of it all, the stunning Burj Dubai. You know, I can't lie, it feels really good to have even that much of a part in building the largest man-made structure on the planet. You know, for thousands of years, because of something called the pyramids, the Middle East had the largest man-made structure. And about 700 years ago, somebody built a cathedral in England, and since then, well, they've been coming up a little short. But not anymore.